Mm. Baba. 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 Don't pop up. Say hi. Hi. Say hi. Hi. Say hi, girl. Hi. There it is. Hi. 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. That's it. I'm 10 months old today. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So everybody is the Dixons, and Nala's ten months old today. We've been gone a minute, y'all. We haven't given y'all an update since the six month update. <laughs> so we have a lot to catch y'all up on. Uh, as you can see, she's grown quite a bit. If you are following her on Instagram, which you should be, I mean, it's in the description box. It's been in the description box for quite a few. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. You tell them. You tell him, Nala. You should be following me. That's what she said. You should be following me. Follow me on IG. Um, Nala has been very busy. Lots of uh, milestones reached. Lots of appointments. Yes. She's been taking trips. Mm -hmm. Okay. Globe trotting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whole lot going on. So we're gonna start where we left off. At seven months. <laughs> Seven months. What did we do? I feel like she she didn't really have any doctor's appointments, but um. So thank you. Thank you months that she has a doctor. Yeah, but there were um you know we have our weekly visits with um healthy families, so we had uh. Do, mm -hmm. We would do ASQs, and those are like monthly evaluations, and she's been right on track with everything. Um. Can see. She's telling you. Sometimes they would ask us things about what, you know, has she done this or that? And we would, you know, sometimes we wouldn't know. Sometimes she hadn't done them. And then almost a week later, she would do it. Uh, mm -hmm. For example, um, what was one of the things? Maybe like picking stuff up picking like this. Stuff. Like it's called fine. <laughs> she can pick things up like this. Of course, that's a gross motor skill when you can rake it. <laughs> but to actually pick something up like this is like a fine motor skill and so yeah, I was saying oh I don't know if she has reached that milestone yet at about seven months but sure enough she started to you know you, we would put a couple of her little cereals down and she would just you know eat, like pick them up at first it was a little you know I don't know what I'm doing here but now she's like definitely intentionally doing it she also is crawling um, mm -hmm. I don't think she was crawling at six months I think it was yeah she started to crawl she would get into crawling position but she was having some trouble with the the motors of it all the mechanics of crawling oh god you want to come to me okay and so you want to tell him what you did how you learned to crawl come on Twisty coming up. Nana. And then where them big teethies come from? Show on the big top TVs. Show on the top TV TVs. Those didn't come at seven months. We're talking about seven months. So she learned to crawl in that time frame. She started to really uh, put her own little like baby uh, communication okay. together. Ba ba da da. Ma ma. You know, um, making different noises. Um, learned how to scratch her throat, y'all. Hmm? She was a <laughs> Doing throat scratches. I'm like, wait a second. What is that? She, when she learned to stand in the crib, it was super cute, right? Mm -hmm. Her little head would pop up when she was ready in the morning, looking for us. And then she learned how to, um, what do they call it, when the bait, it's, it's, I think it's like cruising, 
when the baby holds on to something and then walks across like holding on to a piece of furniture or something she started to cruise across the crib uh, once she started to cruise across the crib uh, we're getting we're getting into eight months now then she decided "Ooh, I know how to throw stuff so she would throw her like changing pad like, reach over and throw a changing pad on the floor or you know throw her uh, pacifier or whatever so she was cruising and crawling and then um, started to crawl into like the other rooms and um, and then like lift herself up on the furniture like to cruise because she's still you know she's she's getting to the point where she's gonna walk soon he went to a parenting class he went to a parenting class of, in regards to like safety um, and it was a six-week program mm -hmm. and um, child abuse yeah yeah like how to spot it and how to avoid it and things like that and um, he would go every Wednesday to that with Nala and Nala would go to like the little daycare that they have for the parents at uh, People Incorporated. That um, was a really good experience I think you told me. Mm -hmm. how, how was it honey? What did they talk about? About child abuse, you know, molesting children. Um, you know what your, your child wants and what she doesn't want and you, you teach her all the parts of the body so when she grows up she knows everything. She knows the difference between a boy and a girl. That is the most important thing, so. And a lot of things, you know, which is personal, also, cannot discuss. Also knowing um, the proper names for her body parts in order to identify if she has been touched inappropriately. So, um, that's something that I think is great that they are teaching to prevent uh, as a preventative measure or a cautionary measure um, to try and uh, curb child abuse of any kind. So, next up is um, when she was still we went to New York with her when she was eight months. Eight now. months, yes. Um, so we had to, we were planning a trip to California, and um, Solomon needed to um, update his passport, and so we had to go to the consulate in uh, the Nigerian consulate in New York, and so we took an Amtrak. We took an Amtrak to New York and that was Nala's first like trip out of state that wasn't in the car to Rhode Island because we don't really consider that out of state <laughs> even though it is um, but yeah like a big trip we went to New York and um, we had a really good time <laughs> Nala was great on the train the Amtrak crew was really nice um, and checked on us and um, which we are going to post some of the pictures yes yes you guys in New York we went around New York, uh, we went everywhere in New York. We, ha we had eight hours, mm -hmm. so we started after the after the embassy. Yeah, we started strolling around, showing our daughter New York, showing her for the first time eight months being in New York. Yeah, it was really cool. Very cool, and she enjoyed it a lot. This right here is so cute. I will still bought a t-shirt in it from New York, the one Apple Big I Love New York. Yeah. Which we still post. I'm gonna show you. the pictures right here. And we ate a lot of food in New York. So let's talk about um how terrible the Vietnamese bon mis were in New York compared to Boston. Yeah, I ain't got it like we got it. I'm sorry. That's another New York versus Boston thing we're gonna have to contend with right there. I'm sorry. But um Chow's Bakery is is that girl when it comes to buying me sandwiches uh, I don't know what was going on at buy but buy because <laughs> that wasn't it the rest of New York was fun we went to Battery Park um, Bryant Park I'm sorry not Battery Park we went to Bryant Park and Nala got on the carousel or she and I got on the carousel uh, we just went you know strolling down the blocks you know so it was cool one thing I will say is I did feel like at some point that you know I mean in New York people just don't give a shit about you <laughs> that is that is something that is is very apparent they don't care uh, we're walking with a whole stroller and people are just like this close to, to running into the stroller like on a regular basis throughout the day that's New York for you I like it he likes it he likes for people to almost run into you. He thinks that's cute. And he thinks it's cute for them to almost run into our baby stroller. I don't think that's very cute. And I really almost cussed somebody out. <laughs> 
I know. Mommy's got your back. Huh? This Smilo thing, um, this uh, pacifier is from Smilo uh, Ink, I think. And they are um, sort of like a ergonomically designed pacifier and bottles and sippy cups and all that good stuff from uh, Orthodontics. And they really, they really work. As soon as we got them in the mail, Nala, um, I don't understand all of this here. I know you're tired. I know you're tired because you are being very, very like fidgety. <laughs> so this is all because you're tired and trying to distract from the fact that you're tired. I'm not tired. I'm just gonna pull at this. I'm not tired. I'm gonna grab this. I'm not tired. I'm gonna move here. You are tired with a T. You are tired. You are Thai red. And you put the red. Thai red. Eight months. Go back to let's go back to eight months. So we were planning the trip to California in the first week of November. We took off. We went whoosh and we went to California on JetBlue. Shout out to JetBlue, most uh, space in coach out there. Y'all did that. Um, also, they were very kind in checking on us, um, and they offer free food and drink, free snacks and drink. You, you get what you pay for on JetBlue. I would much rather pay for a JetBlue coach flight than anybody in the heck else. Because what do they give you on a long flight with Delta? American? United? Nothing. What they give you? That little mini pack of, pack of peanuts? Send your ass on your way. Yeah, you what about if you're still, allergic to peanuts? Right. And Don't then you eat. still have to pay for, um, you still got to pay for your drinks. Trash. So <laughs> I'm gonna say that JetBlue is the goat, uh, especially uh, with the traveling with the children, because we were allowed on after Group A instead of having to wait for our actual group. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. Um, we very it was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be to travel with a baby. Like I was doing a lot of research on what we needed to do and what I had to ask for and all of that. We were checking force, you know, with the baby. Yeah. After the military, you know, the yeah, yeah. VIP. <laughs> yeah, all welcome. And then just park our stroller yeah. right yes. at the um, the entrance to the plane. Parked our stroller at the gate. Then and then picked it up at the gate, at which the gate was really gate. great. That way, they they're not losing your stroller because yes. you know nobody wants to lose a two hundred and fifty dollars stroller. Stroller. But it's not that we haven't been celebrating her monthly um, birthdays. birthdays. We have, and um, right now we'll show you some pictures. <laughs> Of, um, of her months. monthly um, photos that we always do. Mm -hmm. Yes, she's enjoying it. So. so it's not that a lot of like big, like, you know, there, there were some things that happened and she has been coming along very nicely in her development. She's really starting to interact with kids and respond very positively. Um, for example, the, the squealing with excitement. That is very much every, the, every time she sees kids, that's what she does. Yeah. Now there was also Halloween that passed, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Nala went to her yeah. first costume party right here in Fall River. Yeah. And she won. And she won for cutest costume. <laughs> and I will show you guys that picture right here. She is a straw was a strawberry for Halloween. And uh, she was really stinking cute. I, I'm, I'm very happy for her because there's a lot of kids there in the Halloween. I was surprised. And she was the only one dressing like a fruit there. Strawberry. At last they called us when I was when we were in California that your little daughter won. She won a card. A gift card. I was surprised. He I'm was very, very excited. And I was happy. She won a ten dollar <laughs> gift card from Domino's. I said from yes. From McDonald's. McDonald's. Yeah. I said that's good. From ten dollar to one million, it's a big thing. Yeah, to five hundred thousand, to hundred thousand, it's, it's a big thing. At the age of eight months, nine months, she did something like this. It's good. They recognize her, so we thank God. I'm happy. We went to California after that, um, like literally that Saturday after the costume party. We went to California, like I said, we flew JetBlue. We went to San Diego, um, and then to San Marcos. Um, we drove to San Marcos where my. Um, where my nana and my aunt live. Um, they were so excited to see her. All of us, of course, but the, the star of the show was Nala. <laughs> and my nana, um, she was just, I, like as soon as I got there, I put her, Nala in her lap. 
and Nala like you know recognized her from the video chats and she was really comfortable instantly so once we got there unpacked settled in all of that then um Nala was sort of free to roam around the house and she did a lot more crawling and following people around and um like exploring and stuff and we also uh took pictures outside i tried to do it for every day that we were there um just because you know we only had like nine days um and i wanted to like make every minute count we also went swimming in the pool they had a pool at the um apartment complex and um nala got in the water she got in her floaty um we blew up her floaty so that she could cruise in the pool um, but I also took her out to kind of see, you know, what her comfort level was like in the water. And she did a really good job of um, kind of like kicking and, swing and moving her arms and stuff. And I was just making it kind of simulating as if she were swimming. And we took a couple of dunks under the water and she was really good with that too. So that's uh, making way for the mommy and me swimming lessons at the Y um, when she turns one years old. My cousin Kevin came from um, Hollywood to see us. Really? Yep. And, um, and yeah, we, we had a really good time. Of course, he met my f new family and he um, took some pictures. I wanted to show you guys this picture in particular with Solomon and Nala and Kevin. I thought it was really beautiful. Each mm -hmm. time um, coming and going from California, we were complimented on how well behaved Nala was on the flight. We gave her some Benadryl so she did sleep for a good majority of the flight. But, um, you know, there, there were some people who were a little concerned about flying, like sitting next to a baby on the plane. Uh, but they were actually really surprised at and, and somewhat embarrassed that they prejudged her. <laughs> and so um, that was actually pretty cool uh, that they had to eat their words because my baby is amazing. <laughs> but other than that, because Solomon was like really annoyed that the lady next to us on the flight back home was asking if she could change seats with somebody because she didn't want to sit next to the baby. And then she, and then she like kind of was telling Solomon how impressed she was with how well behaved Nala was. And it was just like, how crazy is that? Like, I can't imagine. <laughs> really? I can't imagine doing that. I can't imagine being like, oh God, it's a baby. Somebody switched seats with me. And then later on in the flight, you're all like, oh, hey, baby. Girl, shut up. <laughs> like, don't talk to my baby, bitch. <laughs> like, so irritated. But I mean, I didn't say nothing to her, obviously. I mean, it's your prerogative if you're annoyed with children on the plane, but like, earphones especially on JetBlue you got a whole TV you know mm -hmm. what I mean um, and she was great you know there were other babies on the flight too I didn't hear them either and you know it was nowhere near what we thought it was going to be I thought it was gonna be super stressful very cramped um, you know lots of germs <laughs> I thought it was gonna be terrible but it wasn't it was actually a pretty good time so for six hours for minutes flight yeah and in a much shorter flight home it was only like four hours and some change on the way home really? yep Ola is trying like she's standing up a lot more she is uh, ah! talking a lot more. She's got her top teeth growing in, like a She's whole dancing. lot of stuff. Dancing, singing, um, ah! you know. Well, singing opera in Throwing tantrums. <laughs> Nala's getting into tantrums. <laughs> like if you take something from her, she doesn't like that you took it from her. Now she's upset, right? You too tired to contest me? Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you. She's tired. You see, girl. Ten months, girl. Yeah. But um, under normal circumstances, ah, ah, <laughs> <laughs> mama, 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 mama. <laughs> She's the boss of the house. Yeah, man. The boss. She is. In more good news, now that she has reached her 10 months and her and her uh, VSD is almost like non-existent, they had a really hard time trying to find it this time around. Like really hard. 
That's a good news. Yeah. Great news. So we don't even have to come back until she's like almost two. <laughs> Great news coming along, you guys. We're gonna be moving. We're like literally moving out in a couple of months. Nala will have her own room. <laughs> As she begins to grow more. <laughs> okay. And um Christmas is going to be kind of mm, this this time around, but that's okay because we are going to be celebrating her first birthday literally the next month after that. And so um, it's going to be really important for us to focus. Um, that's it. Such is life, man. It's getting a little chaotic, but it's all right. It's, it's the new normal. 10 months of being a parent, what have I learned? Um, I've learned that your health is extremely important and not just um, physical health. Your mental health is extremely important. Um, there are a lot of times where I think that the downfall of relationships early on into being parents is that people ignore their mental health. And um, I think that's the biggest thing for me is that I'm grateful that I had therapy and um, grateful that I could recognize that something was off. I have also learned patience, a lot of it. Patience for him and her. Really um, grateful for you know things kind of falling into place with finding a job after two months of being of delivering Nala and being hired full-time back in August and you know um, the probationary period is over so I'm like official official there and that means that I can comfortably move out and know that I have a career and a salary that will help pay for my family and um, that's like that has been a relief and so um i feel like we have one more sort of hurdle to get over and once we do i feel like we'll be in a really good place it's, it has been a whirlwind but just to recap uh nala is right on track with her development no she's not walking yet but she it, it's any day now honestly any day now she's standing up and holding the stand for a long time she is um you know exploring a lot more we're having to childproof things you know um she's becoming more vocal and just you know not worried about anything at all not worried about her development in any way shape or form and this and this was a girl that was born very small five four with two holes two, with two, two big murmurs holes in her heart. In the heart. now she's growing <coughs> i think she's She's coming up to it little by little, you know, stage by stage. <coughs> Sorry. Because everything is, is, is well planned by God, step, step by step, you know. She's going very fast. She's getting tall very fast. Yeah, she's yeah. 29 and a half inches long. Long now. The peanuts, they were calling her peanuts when she came out. You know, peanuts, they called her, the nurses, they call her kind of names. That was good. But they told me that this girl, she's going to be a big girl. She's gonna grow, grow and grow. We should just be patient. And I'm seeing it. And she's gonna be very, very intelligent. And she's gonna be very, very strong. <coughs> Niger side, Niger blood, yeah. American blood, African American blood. Very strong girl. So now that she's asleep, we're gonna say thank you so much for sitting here and uh, enjoying this update with us. If you like the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and uh, comment in the comment section. Any questions that you have for us? I know we were kind of jumping all over the place um, because we weren't really prepared for this, but we just wanted to make sure we did it because we've been waiting for so long to do it. And so um, if you have any questions about any stage of her um, development from the seven month mark till now, please let us know. Um, comment in the comment section and ask any questions whatever I can answer I will do I will do so for you um, we do plan on having a birthday party for her no. um, and we'll definitely record that for you we will definitely um, 
record if we do anything for Christmas and um, let you know what her 11 month update is. Um, more than likely, you guys, I'm not even going to pretend with you. You won't get another update till her first birthday. <laughs> Just going to let you know. We're probably not going to deal with the 11th month update. It's the holidays. I'm sure you understand. Anyway, y'all, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Ciao, ciao.